The content of this lesson may seem very basic at first glance, but it's jam-packed with tricks and shortcuts along the way that can massively speed up your workflow. There's no need to memorize it all in the first watch. Don't hesitate to pause, rewind, take notes, or even watch the entire video several times. Now, it's time to look at how to add design elements to the canvas. The first page of the project file I've included is blank to give us some room to practice. Let's start with some basic shapes. To add a new shape, click the Insert button in the toolbar, select Shape, and then choose the type of shape you want to add. It's amazing how much you'll be able to get done with the mighty rectangle, oval, and line tools. So a few shortcuts worth committing to memory early on would be R for the rectangle tool, O for the oval tool, and L for the line tool. Let's start with the rectangle tool. Now we can click and drag anywhere on the canvas to draw our rectangle. We'll see the shape's dimensions next to the cursor as we drag for that little bit of extra precision on the fly. Now for a couple helpful tricks. If you hold the shift key as you drag, Sketch will constrain the proportions of your shape to an equal height and width. Great for drawing squares or perfect circles. Another useful modifier is holding the Option key to draw a shape outward from the center, rather than the usual top left corner. If you happen to start drawing your shape in the wrong spot, you can also hold the spacebar as you drag to move the whole shape. There are plenty of other types of layers you can add from the Insert menu, and we'll get to more of them in due time. But for now, let's talk about inserting images. When choosing Image from the Insert menu, you'll get a Finder window that allows you to browse for the images you'd like to place. But if you already have a folder open in the Finder, you can skip the Import menu altogether and drag images directly onto the canvas. The same goes for pretty much anywhere else you can drag images from, like a web browser or other applications. Sketch supports importing bitmap images in PNG, JPEG, TIFF, and WebP formats, as well as vector graphics in SVG and EPS formats. And if you paste SVG code on the canvas, Sketch will turn it into a vector graphic for you automatically. Sketch also allows you to import PDF documents. Each page will become its own artboard. And there's even support for importing AI and PSD files as flattened layers.